All right, hey guys, welcome to Fire Alarms and such, and it's time for Simplex 4010 Test 23, Edwards and Genesis. So we are going to start with the pull stations, even though that's not really the name of the test, but that's where we're going to start. Over here we have the Silent Night PS-SATK Single Action T-Bar Pull Station. This did come with a glass odd, but we are not going to be breaking it today. That will be in a later video. If we go up here, we have the Edwards GL1WF-HDVMC multi candela LED two wire horn strobe. If we come over a little bit more, we have the Edwards, what is this one? This is the GL-HV15, um, 15 candela horn strobe, I gotta remember all my models. This will also be doing code three mechanical horn. If we come all the way down here under the stopper with the horn turned off and actually locked it off so it won't go off this time is the FCI MS2. If we keep coming all the way around, over here is another Edwards Genesis in red. This is the multi candela horn strobe, totally blank on the model number. Going down here is the Edwards SIGA 278 dual action pulse station. And everything over here is the same except now we got that new door holder switch. And yeah. So one other thing that we're going to be doing, same smoke heat. In here we will be smoke testing this smoke detector. And then what we got here on the box, <clears throat> janky because it didn't really fit, is an Edwards G1M, I think, uh, sync module. So I can do two wire audible silence on my Edwards Genesis with a simplex panel, which is kind of neat that I can finally do that now. So everything is in sync. And I actually think we will start by pulling point 13. Here we go. And we'll go ahead and silence from the enunciator. And once again, it is now working because I got a new one, old one already sold. So there we go. So you can see, you can kind of see, they all continue to flash over two wires because of that sync module. You can really see the LED show up on the camera, which is nice because it's on for a little bit longer than the uh, stroboscopes strobes. So I think we can actually go ahead and pull the Edwards station. Here we go. Lift and pull. and we'll put a silence in the panel. And this Genesis, that's my old Genesis, that's with the uh, lower tone version. So that's why it sounds a little bit different. We're going to disable the door holder so we can put the door back open whilst I work in here. So we got the door holder disabled, which allows us, even with the panel of alarm, to put the door back up. So we will first come in here and reset this T-bar, let me find my cat 30. Here it is. I have a lot of keys. There we go. Then we'll come over here to the Edwards station. Get my cat 45 key out. Here we go. And we'll go ahead and reset the panel. So we got a system reset going. Strobes, all of them continue to flash. The uh, 
red one and the LED are the ones with the uh, chirpy horn. And then the uh, other white one over there is the one with the uh, lower tone horn. So it's kind of a nice balance. But the chirpy ones are definitely interesting. So there we go. Now we will re-enable the door holder. So let's actually pull the Silent Night pull station. Here we go. And pull. This one has a bit of a buzz to it as it is running on strobe only. It's the only one that hums. I'm guessing has something to do with it being the LED version. But the rest of them don't do that. Ah, it's a bright strobe. That's seven, it was a 75 candela, 15 candela, 30 candela. So the LED is quite the uh, bright strobe. I really do like these LED strobes. I like them a lot better than the xenon or stroboscopes. I come a lot better. And they show up better on the camera, which is nice. Alarms present, system reset aborted. What did we not reset? Oh, it's doing this again. Sorry about that, that's got a little bit of a sticky button. There we go, now it's normal. Before it was limited, because it was, the button is uh, it's a little off. It's a little off from the T-bar, so it doesn't, sometimes won't reset fully. Forgot about that. So we wait. I just did inventory on all my devices. As of December 23rd, in my collection that I physically own and hold in my hand, I have 156 different devices, which is kind of cool. So let this reset. Helps if I actually put a reset in the panel. And what we'll do next actually is smoke test the detector in the back room. Do, do, do. There we go. So once again, don't try what I'm about to do at home. Let's get this going. Oops. Please be enough. Oh, that scared me. I forgot that did that. So we will let the panel reset. I have no clue where that cut out, so that will be interesting. There we go. So, thank you guys very much for watching, and as always, have a wonderful day.